The Welsh wizard, unbeaten in 40 fights, having defended that WBO title on 17 separate occasions since he won it, of course, against Eubank so memorably in the late 90s, up against the brooding, big-punching American who'd won the IBF belt and was defending that for the fifth time. Jeff left Hoop Lacey, the monster from the States. Referee calling the two men together for final words of instruction. All right, gentlemen, the time you've been waiting for is here. The opportunity of a lifetime, so remember, take advantage. You had your instructions, bone here, right here is fine. Both of you got it, trunks high. Shake hands, good luck to both of you. Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. The unification fight that Joe Calzaghe has craved for so long. It has arrived, 12 rounds, Joe Calzaghe against Jeff Lacey. They say it's the biggest super middleweight title fight since Roy Jones against James Tony back in 1994. Calzaghe fighting out of the southpaw stance, the taller man by a couple of inches. And will he be content to try and just box his way to victory? I don't know if he's going to get the chance to box his way to victory because, you know, Lacey's just going to come looking for him. This is where he needs to have the fight up close. Calzaghe breaking out of that clinch well with a right hand to the body, followed by the nice little jab into the face of Lacey, another one. Calzaghe, I know, has been thinking he's got to try and keep his punches straight, try and fight at range as far as he can. But there is always that macho streak in Calzaghe when he gets tagged. He likes to reply, re, reply to fire with fire of his own. He started nice and confidently, though. Bit of attempted use of the head, I think, from Jeff Lacey in close. They made him shave off that beard that he's been sporting in the run-up to the fight. Well, Calzaghe's got the higher work rate. You know, he can fight like this for 12 rounds, you know, at a much harder pace than Lacey. But Lacey obviously is the puncher of the two. I do rather think that Calzaghe technically might be the better boxer. But is the, is the edge in power with, Calz with uh, Lacey? You know, Lacey's got scar tissue underneath his left eye. You know, he'd be the one to cut. I think if this is going to go to cut or anything like it, but this is what you expect from Lacey, just going to come looking for Joe. Right hand from Lacey, he landed one to the body and then a big swing and straight away as Calzaghe gets hit he starts going into a tear-up. Here goes the work rate from Calzaghe, remember the left hand is the fragile one, he can't afford to have that one damaged. Just lost his balance slightly in that exchange. The Lacey camp have gambled that Calzaghe is a fighter in decline and that he's a man ready to be taken. Joe's already started his assault, he's not really throwing too many headshots, he's aiming them at the body because he knows his hands might be a little bit fragile, but you watch him when he starts to go to work. Calzaghe's boxed quite neatly in this opening period, he's favouring the right hand clearly. But so far, he's, a, he's got the speed to just jab his way in and then content to tie Lacey up in close. And Calzaghe will be happy with the way this first round has gone. Lacey can't match Calzaghe for work rate. He's just coming crouching in, there's a right hand, that's the best shot from Lacey so far, that's the danger punch. That shot Calzaghe. Oh, this is what you get from Calzaghe. Good headshots. This is what you get from Calzaghe when he's hurt. He's like an out-of-control winger where he just starts throwing shots. Well, that's the first round to Calzaghe, but he did take a big right hand. Can't afford to take any sort of unnecessary risks against such a dangerous opponent, or oh, champion, I should say, in Jeff Left Hook Lacey. Yeah, you have to sort of pinch yourself to remember this is not just a title defence for Calzaghe, this is him trying to add another world championship belt. Beautiful left uppercut inside there by Calzaghe. Lacey going looking for headshots, these are the danger punches, that right hand is the one Calzaghe cannot afford to get caught with. Calzaghe outworking Lacey at this stage. 
Lacey trying to drag Calzaghi down onto the punch on the blind side of the referee. Calzaghi himself spinning Lacey now and trying to work away on the ropes. Good work rate from the 33-year-old undefeated Welshman. And Calzaghi pacing himself. He's boxing an intelligent fight thus far. There's a low one there from Lacey. Also, Kawasaki's got his, 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 uh, his, his protector pulled up as high as he can possibly get it, which is what we're not really accustomed to with, with Kawasaki, but we know Lacey bangs well to the body. Oh, good uppercut from Kawasaki, really good shot. Lacey takes it well. Remember, Lacey was stung in the early stages when he fought Omar Sheikah. That was arguably the hardest title defence so far, and he came back and won it well in the end. Good jab from Lacey this time, snapping shots, and Kalzaghi just walked onto that one. I just feel Kalzaghi's getting engaged a little bit too early for my liking. I'd like to see him use the ring more. Not, not be flash, just be sensible. You know, use the ring more, try and put some points in the bag. Try and make Lacey look a little bit cumbersome, because Lacey doesn't quite have Kalzaghi's footwork or hand speed. Kalzaghi needs to snap the jab, needs to work behind that right-hand lead, that's his key to this fight. It's better boxing from Kalzaghi, and a little treble jab and just a little step off. You know, make Lacey, make him miss, make him pay. Lovely right uppercut. Kalzaghi is out boxing Lacey at this stage, but it's a 12-round fight and a little contemptuous smile from Kalzaghi as he tags Lacey almost at will. Lacey wants this to be in tear up. He's trying to urge Calzaghi in. Well, this is this is pretty much what I thought we'd get from Lacey. He's not getting his own way and he's already starting to complain. Well, this is a really good start from Calzaghi, but Lacey now is into his face and that's where he wants to be. Good uppercut again from Calzaghi, picking the shot well and nothing coming back in there from Lacey. It's all Calzaghi in that exchange. And the Welshman, so far, is having things his own way and is boxing quite superbly. Now, they're waiting for the pace to drop, but he's going to be waiting all night because Kawasaki can do this all night long. But he mustn't get overconfident. He has to stick with his game plan, hit and not get hit. Tie Lacey up, spin off, and just go missing and keep feeding in this stream of accurate, brilliant, quite brilliant combinations. Shaw in the corner, Enzo Calzaghi will have been drumming in the instruction, keep working off the jab, try and keep it at range, there it goes, rocking back the head of Lacey. So it's okay for Lacey to, you know, get fed a string of guys that he can just stand in front of him and, you know, they're almost fearful because once they get in front of him they see this muscle man in front of him and then they end up getting knocked out but Calzaghi won't stand for anything like that. Calzaghi's never had the respect he should have had in the United States through no fault of his own. He didn't get the contests against the likes of Roy Jones and Bernard Hopkins. And look at that quality. There must have been about a seven or eight punch flurry of blows there aimed by Calzaghi. And I think just about every one of them hit. Another good left hand. And Lacey is starting to look bemused, befuddled and utterly on his way towards defeat. He's coming apart at the seams, John. What a beautiful combination we've got there from Kawasaki. Controlled, pinpoint, accurate punches. Four, five, six, seven punches, all hit on the mark, on the button. Lacey looks really sorry for himself and he's getting more and more banged up in now. It's not only Lacey who looks sorry for himself. Gary Shaw, his promoter on the far side of the ring, looks as one of the most shell-shocked men I've seen in a long time. Shelley Finkel, one-time manager of Mike Tyson, isn't exactly putting out the bunting either. There's the right hand, though. That's the danger shot. Or heads when he's dangerously close there from both boxes. There was a right hand over the top from Lacey, which did get in. Yeah, Kawasaki felt that, but he's still winning the round. Loving right hand. I wonder how much more of this Lacey can take. Yeah, Joe, Joe's, he's going to be tired, isn't he? Let's get it right. He's thrown a hell of a lot of punches. And, you know, but Lacey's not capitalising this. Only one punch, though, Duke. It can still turn around. 
don't count chickens. Calzaghi is boxing superbly, he's winning the fight, but Lacey is still in there. Blood now seeping from his lower lip. Oh, headshots. Those are the slaps, and he slaps hard. Look at that superb flurry of punches. I said seven or eight, there might have been nine or ten. There was ten unanswered shots, nine out of the ten hit the target. Yeah, I've got Kawasaki winning everything. I think he's absolutely boxed rings around Lacey, he's absolutely given him a boxing lesson. Kawasaki, in case I needed to remind you, of course, the taller man in the black and white shorts. Lacey, the man who's been battered from pillar to post for 18 minutes. Blood flying across our commentary position. Maybe coming from the eye of Jeff Lacey, no doubt. This is all typical um, uh, Kawasaki right now with what he's getting. You know, we're so used to seeing him fight like this. What okay, a good straight right hand lead he had in there. Now here comes Lacey, desperately trying to come in and wing, wing hooks. There's his girlfriend Jennifer in the corner, trying to urge her man forward. But Kalzaghi doesn't box his way out of it. He tries to get into a trading session. And Kawasaki's obviously learned from his mistakes because when he starts his combination, he keeps his chin down. When he's been hurt or he gets backed up, he keeps his chin down as he starts to throw his shots. Look where his chin is, right in his chest. He doesn't want to leave it hanging out to dry. He's boxing a great fight. Lacey did get in with a left uppercut, as you're saying that, Duke. Just got in close. Kawasaki takes it well, though. Been down in a couple of fights recently against Byron Mitchell, Kabari Salem. That was an untidy fight, but... Kalzaghi was right in the middle of a messy divorce at that time and thankfully for him that's behind him now. And Joe took a right hand there off Lacey, but he's still there, obviously. Lacey's, Lacey's probably having his best round of the fight so far. Yeah, I just landed one or two cleaner shots. He's getting out work, but he's landing, he's just get, starting to get through on Kalzaghi. Kalzaghi's still winning this round for me though. He's gonna have a headache tonight as uh, Mr. Lacey. Taken so many shots, and again, flurries of punches from Galzaghi. Well, I want to see what Lacey says after this fight, if Galzaghi goes on to be victorious, which I think he will be. Well, he's moaning about use of the head from Galzaghi. He wants to get on with it because this is World Championship Boxing and anything goes. He's getting worked over and he doesn't like it. Kalzaghi, I think, is starting to tee himself up for the big Got attack. Him. I think Got he him. might be looking to take him out here. Two big left hands, and Lacey is on the receiving end of a barrage of punches. Kalzaghi wants to get him out of there. His legs have gone, John, he's all over the place. He's hanging on for dear life, he's trying his fight back, but Joe's just going to be a better, punch, pick his punches better and get him out of there. Somehow Lacey has seen it through to the bell. Kalzaghi says something as he goes back, and he goes back to the corner where he gets terrific words of encouragement from Enzo. Kalzaghi has been superb tonight, absolutely superb. Well, he hasn't put a foot wrong all night, John, there's nothing to suggest that he's about to do that. You know, the spring in his step, the snap in his punches. It's Lacey who's obviously the desperate one. And the, the desperate man can often be hurt, but he can be dangerous. But Kalzaghi's a fighter through and through. Can Kalzaghi take him out, even at this late stage? He's got him again. Got him again. Watch Lacey's legs, they're gone. Referee hey. looks like he might step in here, John. He's gone, John. He's absolutely gone. Referee's got to intervene. Look at his punches. I'm absolutely fantastic by Kalzaghi. And the referee has a look. Lacey says, come on. He's put Lacey down, down for the first time in his career. He says it wasn't a knockdown, but he gets the count. He's getting an eight count. And the referee says, walk forward. Are you OK to go on? I don't think he is. There's two minutes left. And Calzaghi rains punches in again. He's trying to take Lacey out of there. 
Oh, he's totally gone. Look at him hanging on for dear life. Took a step behind Kawasaki to buy precious seconds. If Joe can just land one more clean shot, this fight is thank you and good night. We've seen some terrific fights on ITV, and this is right up there with any performance that has been produced, I'm sure, by a British fighter. Kalzaghi has been magnificent tonight, absolutely magnificent. Well, I can't remember a fighter being so dominant against such a dangerous opponent, probably, but not for the last probably 10 years. He was just, he's dominated every round. All around at ringside, people are standing up to get a closer look at this. And back into the corner goes Lacey to have binding reattached on his glove, and that'll give him precious seconds. Joe Calzaghe just needs to keep his com keep his composure, keep his concentration. He's waving to the crowd, and the cheers of response are instantaneous. Calzaghe is starting to celebrate the greatest performance of his boxing career. Lacey got him again, got him again. More. got him again, beautiful shots. This has been an absolute masterclass from Joe Kawasaki. Last few seconds of a superb, wonderful boxing display from Joe Kawasaki. And I'm glad to say I told you so. Yeah, good pick, good pick. He has silenced the doubters. Calzaghi is boxing his way to a magnificent points victory. Quite outstanding. Oh, how on earth is Lacey staying up there? How is he staying up? A peach of a right uppercut from Calzaghi. The bell is about to sound. Calzaghi still picking his man off. Congratulations, Joe Calzaghi. They want him to call him out. Gary Shaw is shouting across to the corner, get him out of there, well that's it, it's all over. Lacey comes forward and braces Calzaghi, but let the doubters be silenced. Joe Calzaghi is absolutely, utterly top-notch and he is now getting a rightful embrace from his father and trainer Enzo Calzaghi because I don't really think that it gets very much better. That was quite outstanding.